Have you ever wondered if myths about sexuality are really true? What is the connection between exercise and sexual performance? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. It's natural to question the truthfulness of myths about sexuality. On our journey together, we'll debunk some of these entrenched concepts, providing fact-based information and dispelling misconceptions so you can enjoy a clearer and healthier understanding of sexuality. Regular exercise can improve sexual performance by increasing endurance, blood circulation, and the release of endorphins. Staying fit and healthy is beneficial for overall sexual health. Academic research. The Kama Sutra is a subject of study in academia, where its historical, cultural, and sociological aspects are analyzed to better understand its impact on contemporary society. Addressing female sexuality. Unlike many historical texts on sexuality, the Kama Sutra dedicates significant space to exploring the pleasure and sexual needs of women, making it an important reference for understanding female sexuality today. Age and erectile. Dysfunction. Although more common in older men, erectile dysfunction is not exclusive to advanced age. Men of all ages can experience it due to a variety of factors, including physical and psychological issues. Alternative and complementary medicine. Some alternative and complementary therapies, such as acupuncture, herbal therapy, and massage therapy, have been used to treat erectile dysfunction, although the scientific evidence of their effectiveness is limited and variable. Ancient history. Sex toys have a long history dating back to antiquity. Artifacts dating back thousands of years, such as stone dildos and erotic toys, have been found in archeological excavations anorgasmia, and masturbation. Some individuals with anorgasmia may be able to experience orgasms through masturbation, but not during sexual intercourse with another person, suggesting possible psychological or emotional factors involved. Anorgasmia and performance anxiety. Sexual performance anxiety, fear of failure, or pressure to satisfy the partner can contribute to anorgasmia by interfering with the ability to relax and enjoy the moment. Anorgasmia and psychological disorders. Anorgasmia may be associated with psychological disorders such as depression, anxiety, or post-traumatic stress disorder, which can negatively affect sexual function and enjoyment. Anorgasmia and social stigma. Social stigma associated with anorgasmia can make it difficult for people to seek help or support, prolonging emotional suffering and frustration. Aromatherapy. Using essential oils and aromatherapy during foreplay can stimulate the senses and create a sensorially rich experience, contributing to a deeper state of relaxation and arousal. Atypical symptoms. Sometimes, STDs can present atypical symptoms that may be confused with other conditions, making accurate diagnosis difficult without specific tests. Awareness campaigns. Global awareness campaigns are conducted to educate the public about the prevention, detection, and treatment of STDs, aiming to reduce their incidence and mitigate their impact on public health. Book clubs. Some book clubs focus on studying and discussing the Kama Sutra, providing a space to explore its content and debate its teachings in a modern context. Breastfeeding fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal by observing or participating in breastfeeding during sexual activities. This fetish may be related to maternal connection and intimacy of breastfeeding. In some native communities in Canada, sexual education programs led by elders and traditional leaders have been developed, integrating ancestral knowledge about sexuality with contemporary approaches to public health and well-being. Changing preferences. Women's preferences for sexual positions may change over time, depending on factors such as age, sexual experience, and changes in body and health. In certain urban communities in North America, Safe and accessible spaces, 
such as youth centers and mobile clinics, have been created where young people can receive counseling and sexual health services without fear of stigma or discrimination. Conflict resolution. Effective conflict management is essential in open relationships, as couples must address unique challenges such as personal boundaries, feelings of exclusion, and concerns about fairness in the relationship. Consent and ethics. Consent from all parties involved is crucial in open relationships. All sexual encounters must be consensual and respect previously established boundaries. Couple use. Sex toys are not just for individual use. Many are designed to be used as a couple. This can include toys for mutual stimulation, such as vibrating rings or role-playing toys. Cultural aspects of female orgasm. In some cultures, women are expected to achieve orgasm as part of a satisfying sexual experience, which can create additional pressure and contribute to feelings of inadequacy in those experiencing anorgasmia. Cultural differences in the perception of sexuality. Attitudes towards sexuality vary significantly among different cultures and societies. What may be considered acceptable in one culture may be taboo in another, influencing people's sexual fantasies and practices. Cultural influences. Cultural norms and values can shape women's attitudes towards sex and influence their preferences for sexual positions, with some cultures promoting more conservative or traditional views, while others embrace openness and experimentation. Dedication. Time. Foreplay doesn't have to be rushed and can be enjoyed as an end in itself. Taking enough time to explore and enjoy each moment can lead to a more rewarding and satisfying sexual experience. In countries like Iceland and Denmark, sexual education is included in the school curriculum from an early age, aiming to promote healthy relationships and prevent gender-based violence. Diversity of libido. Libido, or sexual desire, varies from person to person and can be influenced by physical, emotional, and social factors, as well as hormonal changes. Dominance positions. There are women who enjoy taking on a dominant role in sexual activity, preferring positions that give them greater control, such as reverse cowgirl or inverted lotus. Double amputation fetishism. Some individuals find sexual arousal towards the idea of double amputation, whether of legs, arms, or both, finding the representation or idea of amputation erotically stimulating. Edging technique. Edging, also known as getting close to the edge, involves stopping stimulation just before reaching orgasm to prolong pleasure and increase the intensity of the climax when finally allowed. Educational toys. Some sex toys are designed for educational purposes, especially to teach anatomy and safe, consensual sexual pleasure techniques. Exploration of fantasies. Foreplay offers a safe space to explore shared or individual sexual fantasies, which can strengthen trust and communication in the relationship. Exploration of taboo fantasies. Foreplay provides a safe space to explore sexual fantasies considered taboo or socially unacceptable, allowing women to express their most intimate desires without fear of judgment. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality,